In the 1960s, Israel was in a rather difficult situation. Although they had accumulated some strength through previous struggles, they still lacked modern weapons and equipment. They had a number of old equipment left over from World War II, which could no longer adapt to the new combat environment. Therefore, the best way to make use of these old equipment was to modify and upgrade them. The L-33 self-propelled artillery was a product of this period. Around the late 1960s, Israel's Soltam company planned to develop a self-propelled howitzer based on the M4 Sherman tank chassis, providing the military with mobile heavy firepower. The chassis chosen was the M4A3 E8 medium tank, which was one of the most produced models in the M4 series during World War II, with a total production of about 49,000 vehicles. Israel had acquired a considerable number of these tanks through legitimate purchases and clandestine smuggling. The designers removed the turret of the M4A3 E8 and extended the armor upwards from both sides of the hull, forming a top-enclosed fixed fighting compartment with entry doors on the sides. The main gun of the L-33 is a 155mm howitzer, based on Israel's 122K60 and 155K68 howitzers. The gun was finalized in 1968 and began mass production in 1970. It was an important domestically produced artillery support for Israel in the 1960s and 1970s, capable of firing NATO standard 155mm ammunition. In addition to domestic use, a small quantity was also exported. The original gun had a barrel length of 39 calibers, but due to the need to balance recoil and other issues when mounted on the chassis, the designers reduced the barrel length to 33 calibers. This is also the origin of the self-propelled artillery L-33. Although this modification successfully mounted the gun on the M4 chassis, it also caused a decrease in the gun's range. A 7.62mm self-defense machine gun is mounted on the top right front of the fighting compartment, providing necessary anti-infantry capability. The main gun has a wider firing arc compared to other fixed fighting compartments, with an elevation range of minus 3 degrees to 53 degrees and a direction range of 30 degrees to the left and right. The maximum range is about 21 kilometers, with a maximum firing rate of 4 rounds per minute. The vehicle can carry a total of 60 rounds of ammunition, with 16 rounds available for immediate use and the rest stored in other parts of the vehicle, which is less convenient to access. The ammunition includes high explosive rounds, smoke rounds, and illumination rounds. The self-propelled artillery is powered by a VTA 903 V8 diesel engine, with an output power of 460 horsepower, capable of reaching a maximum speed of 36 km per hour and a maximum range of 260 km. The modification work on the L-33 also began in 1970. Due to the production progress of the gun, the total production was about 200 vehicles, all for Israeli use. These L-33s participated in the Yom Kippur War and the Lebanon War, providing valuable heavy firepower for the Israeli military. Currently, all of these L-33s have been retired and replaced by more advanced models. It must be said that the M4 medium tank is a very successful weapon, especially in the hands of Israel, where it has undergone various improvements. Regardless of the weapon system mounted on it, the chassis can withstand it.